going to look at offset loading today. And what this is, is there's two ways we can do it. Um, probably the most common way is just to hold a weight in one hand. We're um, going to look today at two different weights in one hand. So, um, so you can basically have a 10 on one side, a 15 on the other side. And this is going to give your core a little bit more of a challenge just because the weight's not evenly distributed. And this is a lot like everyday activities when you're carrying things into the house, up steps, stuff like that. It's not evenly, evenly um, distributed that the weight isn't. So the first one we're going to look at is a single leg RDL. So Cordy's going to grab the two dumbbells, and it really doesn't matter which hand the heavier or the lighter one is in. You can do either or. They're both just going to change um, change the stability requirements a little bit. So right now she's got the heavier one in her left arm and the lighter one in her right arm, but it could be the other way. So go ahead and go into the RDL to give us about two reps here, Cordy. So as she's coming down, she's being pulled a little bit more on her um, left side there because that weight's a little bit heavier for her. Next one we're going to do is a um, two dumbbell squat. So we'll keep them in the same hands, just bring them up. So now she's got a little bit different um, load on, on her body on the squats here rather than being evenly um, weighted. So come down into the squat, let's go get two reps. Good job. And this is another way to kind of Sneak in some core work. It's not a direct, it's not direct core exercise, but it does require the core to stabilize a little bit more. Um, again, that's just offset loading. 